Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome back to this video today. For a couple of years I have been teaching um, a part of this uh, very exciting module that is called Power System Operation and Protection and um, I decide to create a new playlist of videos and following this very specific module or course um, and for that reason this is the first one this is the first video of this series of several videos related to power system operation control and protection okay and today I will present the basic module description and I will talk about describe about what you will be learning for the next videos okay but before we start before we start remember to subscribe to my research gate repository because you will you, you will find over there slides documents papers and it's not only from me it's also from the uh, wall from the scientific community. For that reason, I highly suggest that you subscribe to this research gate and you will get access to a lot of information, useful information, okay? Also, in this module, um, we will be dealing with practical examples using different software, MATLAB, Simulink, the Excellent Power Factory, uh, Typhoon Hill, and so on. And for that reason, I highly suggest that you visit my GitHub repository, my GitHub repository, and you will find many practical examples and numerical examples over there. Of course, if you are watching this video, it's because you are right now in YouTube. And this is the, the this is the link for my YouTube channel. Um, if you want to keep update about my most recent videos, please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Finally, if you are interested to follow what is happening now at the Power System community, please follow me on my uh, social media, specifically Twitter and LinkedIn. Okay. Well, I will start with a very short description about this module, okay? This is a Power System Operation Control and Protection. Basically, this module is described, is created um, for, uh, in order to present master student level of electrical engineering, a um, comprehensive overview about power system operation, and specifically, we want to deal with the most important issues regarding uh, power system operation. This module has three very important components, power system monitoring, power system control, and power system protection. During this semester, I will be focusing and working only at the power system protection, but hopefully we will have some uh, short videos regarding practical examples of power system operation, monitoring, and control, okay? In general way, in general way, this module, this module has been created in order to present very important development uh, at the pa uh, power system protection schemes. Okay, it's very important that John uh, electrical engineers have a proper understanding about protection schemes, especially because there are a lot of very important theory behind, and they are very interesting practicalities. Okay. Also, because this module is dealing with power system monitoring, control, and operation, you will be familiar during these classes with uh, the modern power system operation using what we call the SCADA system, okay? Of course, the SCADA system has been for many years in electrical power system. There are new technology coming on, but um, at the moment, you will receive the most important information regarding the state of the art of this SCADA, and how this important monitoring system, control system, is helping the operation of the power system. Finally, this module has a component related to operation and the day-a-day -day operation of the electrical power system, transmission, distribution, and so on, is extremely important. And we will close this module with a very important description and explanation regarding the day-to-day -day operation, okay? What are, uh, now I will talk about the learning outcome, okay? 
uh, the learning outcome they are we are talking about in three different dimensions one is knowledge the other one is a skill and the final one is a general understanding okay regarding regarding knowledge to be honest you will be prepared with uh, the most important knowledge and description about how the power system is designed and specifically because this design define the way that we operate the power system okay and then we will start to talk about different quality indicators inside the power system to define the quality of the operation and one of these indicators is related with frequency frequency is a very important variable inside the power system in this course um, we will use several indicators but frequency control is one of the main topics okay we need to care about the frequency because the frequency defines the balance between generation and demand and of course is related with the power system stability then we will talk about different kind of controllers monitorings and and this kind of information infrastructure that we need to operate the power system the control center operational control center of the power system is the main brain that is taking care about the operation of the power system in a very uh, relative long time scale in this module we will talk about that and also introduce the concept of a smart grid okay smart grid is a relative new concept but is coming from the integration of recent development in technologies like information, telecommunications, and computer science into the power system. Finally, I will talk to you about the different kind of protection systems that we can have, the different elements of the protection system, starting from the measurement point of view, current and voltage transformers, but then going into the very important devices like relay, and those relays they define the protection functions okay i will be talking about the different type of unit protection uh, for high voltage and low voltage network from the skill point of view to be honest this is this module has several several learning outcomes one of them is that you will have a proper understanding about planning, developing, and operating the power system. Especially, you need to understand the optimal power flow, for instance, like a tool that is improving and defining the best performance of the electrical power system. Okay. Now, um, also, uh, we will take about, about the analysis and the impact of the frequency control inside the power system based on the power imbalance. From the monitoring point of view, you will have a proper description about SCADA. SCADA is the supervisory control and data acquisition system that is basically what is making the power system to operate in relative long time scales, okay? Finally, I will close this, um, this module talking about the different type of protection scheme for power plants, for transformers, switching stations, and so on. From the contained, to be honest, um, I will present just a short description because this is a very long and very heavy populated module, okay? The module will start with a short introduction about power system and operation, and from there we will define the importance and the main components for power system monitoring, okay? Power systems, they have controls, they have open loop and closed loop control, and one of the very important important the very important activities of this controller is sensing monitoring signals okay for that reason power system monitoring is a key element of the control room inside any power utility around the wall then we will discuss about security okay security is extremely important it's extremely important concept for power system because we want to deliver the electricity to the customer with the appropriate cost and that is extremely important the economic point of view but also security okay and in this module we will talk about uh, scenario analysis and static and dynamic security then we will introduce some concepts about operation and their relationship with power system stability and then one of those elements of stability specifically related to the balance of between generation and demand the frequency control will be introduced 
Also, power system optimization will be defined here. Optimal power flow will be a very important tool and elements about energy manage management system and distribution management system, demand management system will be introduced. Finally, I will be totally responsible for the last topics in this module. I will be presenting an introduction about protection relaying or protection systems, depending if you're in America or in Europe. Then I will talk about the most important devices for taking the monitoring part of the electrical system. And I will discuss about instrument transformer from two of them, the very famous current and voltage transformer. From there, I will go inside the different protection relays that we can find and we will discuss about operating principles and finally I will close the module with two very important and versatile concepts. Overcurrent protection is probably the most used protection system in electrical uh, power systems and I will be discussing the concept of non-directional overcurrent protection. Okay, uh, Specifically, we will be working with overcurrent protection for distribution systems and then we will go for the very important topic of distance protection, the kind of protection that we use for transmission lines at the transmission level. Okay. Well, and now it's time to discuss the learning activities, and this module is based on classical classes, classical presentations. However, as you can, as you must be aware, I am preparing those videos in order that you can enhance and enjoy the best learning experience that you can. And of course, of consequence, we will be receiving these pre-recorded videos during this semester. As a consequence, the lecturers, the classical lecturers, will be pre-record videos that you will enjoy and you can watch slowly at the piece of your learning speed. But also we will have some theoretical exercises, practical exercises, and time to time we will be using simulate-based simulate assignments, okay? It's not necessary that we will be using simulators, but it's an option that can happen in this module. Now I need to discuss about the assessment and I'm afraid that this assessment, this assessment will be basically um, divided in two different, in two different uh, aspects. The first aspect will be a classical assignments. However, those assignments must be approved, but they will not be great. And 100% of the assessment in this module they belong to the final writing exam, okay? 100%, all the weight of this module, it will be at the very end with a writing exam, okay? Again, we are using the classical letters for the grading A to F, a, the highest mark that you can get, F, the lowest one, and hopefully no one of my students will get that. E is the, pa the passing um, mark, okay? Uh, and I'm sure that my students will make the extreme, very, very good effort in order to pass this module, okay? However, if sadly or regrettably, any one of my students must retake the exam, there is an extraordinary exam, and in that case, it can be in oral form. For that reason, be prepared for very serious, very serious questions, okay? Finally, I would like to recommend some readings, okay? Um, as I told you, this module will be between two colleagues academics, two academics delivering this course, and the part related with practical uh, power system operation, um, my colleague will be using this module, practical power system operation from Baheli, and for um, the, the topics that I will be covering, um, I will be using a classic book for power system protection. The title is Power System Relaying and Relaying, and this is the book from Holloway and Patke. Okay, it's a very famous book. You can find those books in Wiley or even on Amazon. However, if you are curious and you are a very um, learning, uh, interesting on learning um, student, 
you can you can have about a look for very specific and very interesting books okay if you if you if you want to create your own library for your own learning experience and you have the possibility to have in those books i highly suggest that you have the good and Wallenberg. Guten Wallenberg is probably the classic book for power system operation and control. I highly suggest um, um, uh, this book from Bruce Wallenberg is a, a very nice book for learning power system operation and control. From the from operation point of view, uh, there is another book. Uh, it's probably older book, and this is Modern Power System Control and Operation. However, it's extremely nice and extremely good book that is a complement to the Alan Wood and Bruce Wallenberg. For protection, to be honest, there are many books of protection, and I will tell you one of the things in my mind is that there is not a perfect book for a protection okay Th there are many books and some of them they are very strong quite strong if you are dealing with a very specific topic okay my general my general experience is that you need to have many books and read a lot in order to have a complete and deep overview about protection systems okay however um one of mm, the books that i can suggest uh that you can suggest suge uh, that i can suggest to you is uh, this is a recommended practice from the ieee the ieee recommended practice for protection coordination of industrial and commercial power systems the ieee standard 242 I highly suggest that you can get this, okay? If you go to the university library and you go and you log in into IEEE Explorer, you can have a copy of this very amazing document. Uh, this document is special, it's very important because it's connecting the main standards, okay? If you are in America, if you are in America, this book is perfect for you because it's making the strong connection with the IEEE and the ANSI standards, okay? Um, not much people know about this book, the other book that I will present here, but this is Paul Anderson. Yes, it's Paul Anderson. is the same author of the book for power system stability and control, okay? Paul, uh, Paul Anderson has several books, and this book, uh, this book about power system protection, to be honest, is an amazing piece of uh, learning, okay, of, of knowledge. This book has a very good explanation and detailed explanation about the basic religion principle. is an amazing book, okay. From 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 the practical point of view, there are several uh, manufacturers that they provide some um, small documents or big document, large documents that you can read. One of the documents that I highly suggest that you have a copy in your in your in your library is the Network Protection and Automation Guide Protection Relay Measurements and Control from Ashton. Okay, Ashton has this very interesting PDF file. You can download this PDF file from the internet, but this is covering the the most important topics, the most important topics about power system protection automation inside a modern power system. I highly suggest this because they have a very practical way to explain. And it's very useful, to be honest. I highly suggest if you can have a copy and especially have a reading because books are for reading. And I highly suggest that you can have this one. Finally, as I tell you, protection is a very interesting and very important topic. This book from Russell, uh, Russell Mason, he wrote this book uh, with General Electric Grid Solutions. It's a relative old, it's a relative old um, book, 1956, and it's called The Art and Size of Protection Relating. To be honest, this book is amazing. It's a bit old, but it has all the fundamental concepts and is still valid, okay? It's a very nice book 
that if you have time, time to time reading this book is an amazing learning experience, okay? Again, um, to close this presentation, there are some documentation. I will be providing to you some practical examples that you can download from my GitHub repository, but also uh, you can go to my research gate and you can download some other documents that will be extremely helpful for you, okay? Well, it's time, it's time. It's time to close this presentation and about the power system uh, operation control and protection, this new brand new module. And uh, it will be extremely nice and a wonderful learning experience. I hope that you can follow all the videos and I will be waiting to receive your feedback, your questions, your comments. It's very, very important, okay? If you want to stay in touch, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like some time to times are good because it's one way to receive feedback, direct free feedback from the viewers. And I will be producing more of those videos in the comics weeks, okay? Well, this is all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay in touch. I will see you in the next class. Thank you very much. Bye now.